Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to ENFP Mail. Today I get to have this interview with Marcel. So Marcel, welcome. Hello. So Marcel, did I pronounce your name correctly? I mean, I don't, I don't think it's wrong, you know. There's many, many different ways you could pronounce it, but I, I think that one works for English pretty well. Yeah, I mean, so how do you pronounce that. it in Polish? Marcel, it's like a tis sound, like, like a tss. So do you want to be called Martel or Marcel? i just say Marcel. It sounds more natural. Okay. Okay. In, in, we'll go with in that English. Then. Um, yeah. So Marcel, what is your full personality type? Can you give us your full op type? Double feminine, uh, N-E-T-I, uh, consume, sleep, blast, play. So you are the most introverted ENTP type. Is that correct? Yes. So how did and, you... And the most decide you know what I mean? Most IP-ish of all yeah. ENTPs. Yeah, so one could mistake me for that. As an INTP instead? Maybe, I don't know. Nobody so, called me that, but... What did you think and how did you feel when you got your results back? Oh, well, I was... I, I kind of run different possibilities through my head. So, like, any, I didn't really... I was not surprised at all. Uh... Play last as opposed to blast last was like a little bit of a surprise, but I like adapted to it like very quickly. But the biggest surprise was actually TI. I did not think I had TI. I thought I had FI. Oh. And I still don't really feel like a TI user, but uh, that's what I am apparently. So, so you yeah. thought you were an INFP then or something? Uh, I mean, I, I've, uh, I thought a bunch of different things. I just, I just really thought I had masculine FI and right. I don't, I have masculine TI. Okay. Well, let's start with that then. So, um, what made them say that you had masculine TI? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> At this point, reasons, just giving reasons, I suppose, as opposed to just saying, Ooh, I feel like this or Ooh, I feel like that as not I don't particularly understand it. Uh, what I've noticed after that, what people have been uh, telling me is that I I do care about like these little facts and everything. Like I'm very ST in some ways. Like I would get stuck at somebody like not doing the light right, right logic or whatever, you know, things like that. Okay. Can be very weird about that. Well, since It'll you be... brought it up, um, let's talk about your ST sleep. You have... Um, your, you have ST sleep savior. Um, so talk double about activated. Yeah. Double activated. Yes, yes, you have double activated ST savior. So let's talk about your double activated ST savior as an ENTP. That's quite interesting. What is your sleep like? Uh, it's hard to remember because it's also the, the SI is feminine and I just forget right. <laughs> what I think about. Yeah. Uh, am I sleep? I don't know. I just think about things. And, and I get very upset if somebody doesn't exactly uh, care about the facts pretty very much like an ST would do, I think. But it's kind of awkward because it's kind of demon. I yeah, think. but at the same time, it's also feminine for you. So you care about the facts, but then you forget it. So it's like... Yeah, like I, I, don't, I don't know shit about the facts, but I know if somebody disrespects them, I'm there. Yeah. You know? That is so weird. That is so weird. Yeah, uh, it's freaky. So... Um, when I was interviewing people in the past that had ST sleep, you know, whether that be ISFJ, ESFJ, um, or even ENTPs, they, they would tell me that the way they think about it is like they're going to think about what they're, how they're going to do things, like the step-by-step -step of how they're going to do things for themselves. You know, so do you see yourself doing that? Like, I'm going to do this step one, like this, step two, like this, step three, like this, you know, and this is just for you. It's very personal. It's not, it doesn't apply to other people. This is strictly for you. And you like process how you're going to do, like, let's say tomorrow you, you know, you want to run some errands or whatever. And then, you know, so you're thinking, okay, which order am I going to be doing it? Like, do you, do you do that? Would you say? Oh God, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I know I, I do like improve on, on the steps. Like I think about something and I try to like improve the steps of doing something okay. to get a better result or like yeah. figure, or maybe like a figure out uh, like what is the best kind of uh course of action to take to achieve a certain result right uh, 
so maybe but i don't know it's just like breathing you know we don't i don't think about that particularly okay I, I maybe that's it's hard your... to imagine though in this part, um, like... you said it's like breathing so do you feel like you do it in such a savior state that you don't even think about it or is it because it's feminine that it's like you know, it's very... Well, I think it's just like a, such a savior state, the same uh, way a lot of people just cannot see their functions because they're just like doing them all the time and they just don't notice. It's yeah. like you don't notice your nose or whatever. I don't know if that's a good analogy, probably not, but just comes to... Maybe, comes to mind. I don't maybe know. that's why you don't have FI because like I can, I can see all this stuff actually. And I think other people with FI can um, because it's like... You know, we're always feeling things, right? But anyways, uh, let's, let's be on the point. Um, let, let's go with your consume. You have NT consume. So you are lead NT. Um, yeah. And um, if I'm not wrong, your NT is double masculine? You're yes. Right? Yeah. So talk about your double masculine NT consume. What is that like for you? Oh, okay. Well, it just, it wants things uh, bad. So like if I want to uh, like consume something, I need to get it. It's like a very intense, like it's like a child in the, like a supermarket just screaming, mom, buy me this, you know? Right. Because, because like it really fucking needed it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then again, it's the, it's like just like this hating everything <laughs> because nothing is really good enough. Like I think masculine consume is very much like about standards of what you're consuming. Like, uh, like this is, this is good. This is bad, you know? Um, and it's like it's like very harsh like everything that is not uh that i do i do not uh think as as you know valuable consume it just annoys the fuck out of me you know i cannot <laughs> i cannot uh stand it so you don't uh, want to consume anything useless you always want to consume high quality content is that, is that what you're saying well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say useless. Like uh, most of the stuff I can, I'm consuming, I'd, I'd say is pretty useless. But I just don't don't want to consume crap. <laughs> so it could be useless, but if it's high quality, it's good. Yeah. Okay, got it. Now earlier on, you you were saying that um, you don't like to disrespect the facts, and it pisses you off when people disrespect facts. So is that you actually? being more info dominant than anything because you have consume and blast in your first three animals so would you say that, that it's that your info dominant side that's making you get pissed off when people are disrespecting the information you know not having the most accurate information available i mean i don't know i've seen uh energy dumps doing the same thing but yeah i don't know i don't particularly like thinking about that coin <laughs> i see so, i see okay i don't know now, um, let's talk about your NE. You have masculine NE. So what is masculine NE like for you? Like, how do you, how do you experience it? Or how do you use it? It's just, it's not feminine NE. So like, if you want to go like on a, on a whole, like an idea thing with me, I'll just like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, no, this is fucking useless. This, the ideas, they're like that. And there is no need to like <laughs> take them any further. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And would you say your memory for patterns and concepts is really good? Like you tend to remember concepts and patterns? It's better than for the, for the facts. Mm, I, I wouldn't say my memory is very good in any way. Hello. Really? Okay, fair enough. Now your blast is double feminine. What is your double feminine? And your blast is also SF, double feminine SF blast. So yeah, it's, it's just like, it's very hard for me to find words. At all when I'm speaking, I'll just like, I'll, I'll try to say something and then I'll like stop. And then there's like a word just like escaping my mind. I'm like, I, and I'm, and I get stuck because I tried to find it, but I just can't. Do you, that's pretty much it. because your blast is SF, do you always like, you know, when you go up to people and stuff and you talk to them, you know, because it's SF, it's like, you know, what's cool or what's popular, right? So when you go up to people like, oh yeah, hey, nice shirt, you know, or something where, you know, like, yeah. Like do you do that a lot? Like, hey, nice shirt or nice, nice shoes or you know, your your car is awesome or something. You know, like. I don't think I do that a lot. It's a you know, it's a demon, but uh, I definitely do stuff like that if I see something that is particularly exciting, that other person like did, or or anything. I, I like to point that out. 
Now, your third function is FE. It's feminine. Um, how do you experience your feminine FE? Mm. Yeah, that, that, that one's the hardest. It's like, it's like at the bottom there. It's not even double activated. Uh, just through like double deciding, basically. Just balancing out my TI with... Uh, like, hey, I'm going to say this to you, but by the way, I love you, but listen to this, which is going to put you down a little bit. Yeah. But it's like, it's like damage control, basically. <laughs> See, that's a, that's a, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I, yeah. I do that too, but it, the opposite way that you do, which is like, I serve a tribe, but I, when, when a tribe is getting away with too much stuff, then I pull it back and use my FI. So it's like, cause I'm a, I'm a yeah. jumper. So, um, so I, I like the way that, that you use the word damage control. I think that's really good because like, yeah, you'll like, you'll hit them in the face with masculine TI, but then afterwards you'll tell them you love them and they're great, you know? So it's like, it's well, like, I usually do it like the opposite way. I like lean into the TI because if you hit them with TI, that's not very good at all. Oh, so use the FE first and then you TI them afterward. Yeah. I see. I, it's kind of like soften the blow, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, you have, play last and your play last is NF. So do you find yourself struggling with NF, like the NF stuff, like, you know? Um, I, uh, struggling, I don't know. Maybe I find myself annoyed with it a lot of the time because I don't, I don't get a lot of, it's hard to, it's hard to describe that. Like, with, hmm. I find a lot of like NF stuff, which I don't know what NF stuff really is, like how to specifically put it in a more understandable way. But I just find myself like not getting it at all. Yeah. And just annoyed that I don't get it and people do it. And then yeah. I have to suffer because of it, <laughs> you know? Like a few days ago, I was, um, I went to YouTube and I stumbled into onto this YouTube channel that I, I felt like my sister is going to like a lot because I have an INFJ sister and she's like NF blasting all day. So basically, it's this woman and she had like this like gong and she was playing like, like, um, I don't know, like meditation music. And the whole, like the whole, like one hour is pretty much just her talking about energy and she's going, Oh, you know, and, and she's talking about like healing through sound and sound, you know, just like through the, through the sound, you, you're going to heal your soul. You know, like, how do you feel when like you, you watch that kind of stuff? You know, like, See that that depends because if I actually I wouldn't watch it because that sounds like like it's super like I don't I don't like what looking at that stuff yeah but that sounds like the stuff I would really like to like parody <laughs> like hey let's just feel the cosmic vibrations man and let's just yeah. <laughs> fucking smoke some DMT and leave the planet and stuff like that so so you like to mock that mm. stuff like it's fun yeah I like to I like to mock it yeah. So that's like the best for you to mock that is the NF, the NF. Yeah. I mean, I like pretending that I get it. <laughs> oh, I see. Like, like pretending uh, that I get it, like through mocking it, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, because you're play last, uh, do you have trouble interacting with a tribe in a back and forth manner? I, I don't know, honestly. Uh, what I found is uh, I think I just do like the same thing like a play would do necessary uh maybe but like in a more like a consume blast way like i, I don't know i yeah i feel very much uh, i find like a like see like like we're doing here we're not really going back and forth we're just like you ask the question and and i talk and then right. you talk and it's like a like a long switch more like yeah uh yeah but i i find that this is not an issue like you can just talk to people normally like that what play last actually is bad at is just doing things that you don't want to do. Like everything that would like, like a, like a normal person, let's say play savior would do that would like obviously be like hard for them uh, because nobody likes doing things they, they don't like doing, yeah. but like, they would just like, um, like, you know, just, just like power through it. I cannot power through it. I cannot power through anything. <laughs> And that is what Playlass is really about, you know? Do you have any concrete example of like something that you can't power through? <laughs> I can, I can get like a, like a really, uh, 
like a really trivial example of just like basically I um I have to I don't know do shopping but I just really don't want to like get up get dressed and go to the shop go back just like it's like draining just so doing you, things your your energy levels is super low then would you say well that depends because th this is when it gets fun you you have like like a little like i like like an ij box which you can like put things in but you don't do it consciously like unconsciously and then you can like basically do infinite play <laughs> because if something is in your box then that doesn't drain you usually like i can uh party like all through the night and this will not drain me but i cannot go to a shop because i will just like go back tired and probably go to bed <laughs> go to bed after that it's like uh it's like what what is it's really really weird you know if you look at it like that just a, it's all about like what you want to do and what you don't want to do I see. I so you have selective, your energy is very selective. Like there's areas that yeah. you can go crazy and expend a lot and you won't get Yeah, it. but like, li listen, the, the funniest thing, like I can outplay the plays sometimes if it's like in the box. And that is. Yeah, because I can't go to a party all night. Like that, I, that will exhaust me. I can only go like maybe two hours and I want to leave, right? So because it's too much, too much FE, I can't stand FE shit. So like, no, I, I, have, I have to leave, you know? For me, it's like, it's too pretentious and inauthentic for me to like stay. But you know, if you have SFE lead, you know, then you can, that, that actually energizes you, I guess. Well, I don't have FE lead, but I, I do have a fee. Yeah, you have uh, it. And I don't really care if something's inauthentic. I just think it's fun. Yeah. 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 I, I, you know, you are self about tribe. So I guess in, the, in that case for you, it doesn't matter. Um, you're very IP-ish for um, an ENTP. If not, you are the most IP of all. Um, yeah, I'm the worst decider, out there. The, the worst double decider out there. You're the worst double decider. So do you, do, you, do you think you get like tribe hate then sometimes or a lot of times maybe? Well, I sometimes get tribe hate, but usually I just get tribe like tidal waves like in my head. Like I'll, I'll just, some evenings I'll just go like, man, do I really like suck? <laughs> and I just think about like, does everybody actually hate me? <laughs> that's basically how it goes but, but just every every you know couple of weeks i'll just get that but is how is that a tidal wave like do you do you want people to like you or if because if you don't give a shit then that's not a really a tidal wave you know well, i like people to like me you know? <laughs> okay so i guess okay it is a tidal wave then in, in that case but yeah. um you're still an ep at the end of the day and you're gonna be scared of or you're gonna fear being controlled talk about that fear of control Oh God. Well, there's like a, like, a, hmm. well, I, I don't know. I don't have an example. This is, this is feminine blast now. I just don't like rules very much. <laughs> that's, that's like one example of it. But it's like also very hard to see because it's 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 such a like it, it's it it's a, it's the biggest savior you know the chaos is the biggest savior, and then the then the you know then the it suddenly like hits you out of nowhere when it does it. I don't I don't really have a good example. Has someone imposed a rule on you like all of a sudden like they changed the rule and now they're they're forcing you to follow it? you know well not recently i just uh remember like falling into like depression in school because i really hated school because i felt it was like useless and and i and i was like forced to do things i didn't want to do so like that was that was like the biggest control thing in my life at that time now i'm out of school so i don't really have that anymore but it used to be like a like a live ruining uh, experience for me are, are you uh, are you in college or are you finished college or, or, or what? i'm in college yeah but college is way better than like you know the school before that yeah it's more chill much much, much freer yeah yeah okay um let's talk about your feminine si since, since we're talking about rules um so with si you know you 
tend to do things in a step-by-step -step manner. Um, do you see yourself doing things in a step-by-step -step manner? Like step I, I sometimes do things backwards. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know if that's SI, but I will, when I eat something, for example, I'll always like plan out my, like, uh, like what I eat first to what I eat last, you know, things like that. Okay. Okay. That's good. Because, yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I do the same thing. So <laughs> talk about that then. How do you, how do you do that? Well, you eat the, the, the thing you like the least first. And, yeah. and I mean, I, I do that. And, and the thing I like the best, I eat at the, at the end. Okay. Yeah, I know. I do the exact same thing. So that, that's very interesting. Like that, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause, um, I don't know. Uh, that's not about be, it being step by step, but what, what about my SI? I thought it was masculine at first because uh, I, I get really like anal about my, all my uh, room layout and like all my things. Yeah. Like, it, like I, I do very much relate to having an IJ box. I need everything has its like exact placement and I really get very mad. Like I never get as mad as I get when people touch my shit. And like, I can see just like a little bit, like something's just like a little bit misplaced and like really bothers me. Like it's all personal, you know? Right. So things are personal for you then, would you say? Like your personal belongings are? Very much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can relate to that. I I'm not as crazy as you where you, you know, you move things a little bit yeah. and like get pissed off. So for me, I have like a container and as long as it's inside a container, it's cool. But you take it out of the container, it's not cool. But if people move it a little bit, I, I, don't, I don't care. So it seems like you're more anal about that. And yeah. I wonder if that's from your savior sleep, you know? <laughs> I wonder if that's where the... Yeah, yeah, it's Zibble activated. So, so it's probably that. Yeah, it's like yeah. Sleep blast. But, okay. What, what I find interesting though is that you get angry. That's your response when people touch your stuff because usually that's from a masculine SI. Uh, people with feminine SI, it's more like you have sentimental things, you know? So I find it interesting that anger is the emotion that you experience when people touch your shit, you know? Yeah, there's, like I thought it was masculine SI, but it's not masculine SI because that is like the only thing that would point to masculine SI. Everything else, like the memory gone sleep right. i don't know you know right. last can't find words you know yeah well i guess you know everyone's a walking contradiction in that sense you know just like there's you know like that's just one clue right of the puzzle so um it, it must come from the st then um you are double feminine so you are tester and um, visual so talk about being a tester like do you like to experiment and try different things like are you a big experimenter no <laughs> you are not no i'm not i, I don't know i mean to like depends on what like when you when we're talking about like food for example i just eat the same food okay all the time i don't like i i have my favorite things i don't like changing them at all when you talk uh, like for example about uh my music i i do change things try to change things all the time but you do that with music, you know, so I don't think that's particularly pointing into that tester territory. I, I don't, I don't find much truth in, in, in the, in, in the, you know, in the modalities, like, I don't think a tester is like the, the weirdest one of, of the, of them all, you know, so I don't particularly get that one. Well, I do feel like I, uh, in terms of like learning styles, I feel a lot of more like, like I like audio way better, for example. Okay, so, okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, like from the other people I've interviewed, when they talk about being a tester, it's easier to see it on people with SD, you know, um, right. you know, where they like to try different food or they like to go to different countries and, you know, experience different cultures. Um, it's harder for me to pick up what tester is with NE users. I always find that quite... Uh, quite strange um i mean i guess like the 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 biggest like tester out of like my functions would be like an uh isfj right so like what would be an isfj tester seems kind of like a contradiction in a way right right well i mean i've seen it with the intjs for example like a lot of intjs you know they're they're so set in that ij box but then they'll suddenly like try different food you know they're like obsessed with like trying every single 
different food. They're just like so obsessive over it, you know. Um, so that that's just kind of like what I've seen with uh, it's also it could be also with dating, right? You can be like a serial dater, right? Like you just date so much people, you know. So that can be a- yeah, it's all about me, just just dating, just living that sinful lifestyle, you know. Yeah, it completely. Yeah, and I know for the really. business, they they use tester as like you know trying different marketing campaigns, for example. So you know it. So I've seen it with like high tester people. They feel responsible for testing different, you know, like let's say in business marketing campaigns. You know, we'll try this campaign, this campaign, this campaign, this campaign, and then we'll see the results from each of them. And it's like they're responsible for testing. Like, I don't like to try different campaigns. I don't like to try different food, right? So, but I'm not a tester. I'm an you know I'm audio. So that's a, that's why I'm trying to figure out. Okay, what is tester for any users? Because that's that's super confusing for me. You know. I don't know. It's nothing. <laughs> it's okay. just you can't remember shit. Okay. No, okay. Well, that's, that's well, ignore that for now. Uh, let's go with your visual then. So, what is your visual like? Oh, it's just the memory. Just easier to remember visual. I mean, not quite. It's difficult. See, because I, it's easier for me to learn in audio. But like most of the memories that I have are visual. Okay. So it's like weird. Like, I I do not like reading a book for, like, it's difficult because uh, I guess I'm comparing audio to, like, reading from a book, but, like, reading words isn't very, isn't really visual because the words, you know, are not particularly images. They're just trying, meaning they're trying to represent something else. Uh, But, yeah, I I guess I would say I I like graphs and things like that. (laughs) I I find them very helpful um forgot the question <laughs> oh no we're talking about visual like you know are you a visual learner would you say like when you see like charts graphs images you know yeah i like them i like them but like i like audio too you know i don't remember facts about anything but well if you're listening to like an audiobook do you pick up everything like do you hear every words that they're saying no, I usually don't even listen to like, <laughs> I don't even like, I, like it was easy for me to like learn English because I don't actually need to hear, like understand every word to get a sentence or whatever, like to understand whatever, whoever is like talking about whatever, you know, like one word could be like misplaced. I still get it. I don't think that's particularly rare. My monitor is falling apart, I think. Well, my, my, my girlfriend's double feminine and she said the same thing as what you just said, where when she's listening to like an audiobook or like a, a TV show in the background, she doesn't even hear what they're saying. But because I'm, lead, I'm, I'm an audio person, I can hear every single word and it's super annoying. Like I don't, I don't want to hear the words, but I hear every single word precisely. So, um, so being an audio person, I can laser in on every word and I hate it. You know, when I don't, when I don't want to listen to it, I hate it. <laughs> right that that's int- because when i listen to music i don't really pay attention to words at all like i i will not know the words to a song but like the melody like the like how the words sound and like the melody will like be way more important to me than what the actual words are because i don't care <laughs> right. yeah yeah okay okay i, I did notice that with the double feminine people is with the with the music it's like it's like how the song makes you feel you know like you know how it yeah. moves how it moves you because my sister is how it moves you. yeah i yeah, guess exactly. that that's that could be double feminine Just yeah the, those little dance shit right yeah exactly you got it yeah. so but like for me when i listen to music i hear both the words and the melody so i i do get moved by the music but i hear the words too like the lyrics so do you uh, get moved by the words i get the, the words affect me yeah but the, so does the melody. like immediately or do you just like have to like think about them uh it depends how like engaged I am to the song, you know? So I, I can block it out. I'm, I have double mask when sleep, right? So I, I can block it out, but it's, it's, it's fourth. So it's the hardest for me, you know? So, um, cause I'm, I'm sleep last, so I can do it, but it's not, it's something I have to consciously do. It's not something I can do automatically, you know? But I noticed that with my sister, who's double feminine, um, you know, she loves to listen to music because she wants to get like swept away by the music. She wants to get like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I want to get moved. I, 
we can talk about that. I like to get moved by like in about all media, what I really look for in like media a lot in like movies and and songs mostly is just like that feeling exactly of my feelings just being moved. Or like it's sort of like riding the wave or of whatever emotion you get, you know. Yeah. It's just like very flowy. And you that enjoy way. that a lot, like that being. Yeah, moved. I like that. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. Now, do you like it regardless of what kind of emotion, whether that be like negative or positive? Oh, I don't like anger very much, but apart from that, I'd say pretty pretty much every emotion, like embarrassment. Like you, you watch some like cringe comedy. That's, like that's that? good, right? Yeah, like I love it. It's like my my body's twisting, but I like it. You like it? It's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's uh, that's hilarious. Um, I I I I found it interesting that you said you don't like the the angry stuff. Um, because that's my favorite. I love like the, the angrier they are, the better. Like Eminem's music, I love that shit, right? Uh, oh, I mean, I I like angry music, but I, like that doesn't really move me into anger, you know? Okay, so it's okay. Now, what you're saying is very interesting because the double feminine people that I've interviewed or know in real life, they don't like anger of like at all like when people yell at you or shout at you like it's it really like affects you a lot like it really hurts you um so if someone were to scream at you you know with full anger how would you how would that how would you react to that would that bother you if someone were like really raging towards well, you I, th- I think it would bother everybody <laughs> but uh I, I wouldn't scream back i think i would just like try to remove myself from the situation probably what if, what if you can't like you're you're stuck in a situation for some reason you know, I I cannot imagine what I would do. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, how, how would you how would you react to that though? How would you feel? You know, if if someone would like scream at you with like full anger. Well, you know, attacked obviously. Like yeah, like uh, I don't know what I'm what the fuck is happening. Uh, yeah, and then maybe at the end I would react with anger back because I just couldn't take it anymore. I'd imagine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so but I wouldn't like that. Like one of some of the most like embarrassing times in my life have been me getting angry at people, like really angry and shouty, and I really don't like that side of myself. And I just try to like don't, uh, like just keep it away, locked away at the you know inside of my mind, whatever. Do you do you think that's a bad thing? Because you know. Um, the teachings of objective personality, they say people who are double feminine, especially, they have that cat energy, right? Where like, people are pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, and finally your back's against the wall and then you scratch, it, scratch your eye out, you know? Like, so it, basically that's kind of like what you're describing right now is that you have this yeah. like demon inside, you know, this like this monster and then you're, you're locking it away because you don't like to see it, but it's part of you. So like, what do you, what do you think? Like supposedly what you're supposed to do is leak it out little by little so it doesn't come out in a big burst it comes out in like you know um you know in small doses right you know it's kind I of don't like- know. I'll, I'll, I'll sometimes get like heated like a bit like i'll overplay my uh annoyance with something yeah i like uh, uh like loud singing that's great just like very like distorted you know uh things like that so i do get out that that like screamy energy or whatever but i don't like what i'm i don't know it's hard to like control anger you know if if you if you get into anger then it just i say anger weird then you just you just like i like have to stay into it stay in it for like for like a longer time and i feel like What's interesting about anger for me is it's like I feel very powerless because I have um, two responses, basically, with anger. I either hurt the person that got me angry or like smash the thing or whatever, or I do nothing. And usually the like almost always the right answer is to do nothing. And then I just feel like, you know, like this, like this even more angry because I'm powerless against whatever got me in this state, you know? Do you think it's your FE that's causing that? Like, because you're mirroring the tribe's emotions a lot, right? Like when a tribe feels this way, then with FE, people with FE, they tend to mirror what the tribe's feeling is, you know? It's like having the most appropriate feeling for the moment. So if the tribe is angry, you're angry, you know? If the tribe's happy, you're happy. Would you say that 
that happens to you? Like you absorb the trans, you know, feelings and then you. Well, it's a demon. So sometimes yes, sometimes no. I see. Okay. Okay. Um, Cause you know, I, I don't know if you like, they type John Jones as, you know, like ISTP, right? With FE last. And then, you know, he went to therapy and it was like a group therapy that he did. And he had to talk about his feelings out loud. And it was like, he, he, he loved it. He said it was great. It felt really good. Um, so would okay. you say your emotions are not personal then? Because it's FE, like if you were to, you know, let out your emotions I, out. I, I wouldn't say so. Uh, well, I think everybody's emotions are personal. No way. Just like everyone's thoughts are to a certain degree personal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess they're not just like not as personal. Like I can, I th in a lot of ways, I can detach myself from my feelings. Uh, but in a lot of ways, sometimes I can't. I will not likely like burst out with an emotion like ever. Like you will not see me throw a tantrum except when you move my shit, then, <laughs> then yes. Yeah. Then in fact, I will throw a tantrum, but, but it's just like, if you say something mean to me, I will not like start attacking you or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it is personal. And I don't, what I found is like often talking about emotions doesn't really help, even though I do it. Like, it's like, it's like an automatic thing of just like me. If I like have a problem, I will talk to somebody about it. But I don't particularly feel better better about it afterwards. So I don't know. Okay, well at least we all know you're you're definitely like a double designer because you have things problem, right? Like that's that's kind of like what you freak out about. Like when it comes to people, you're like, and hey, whatever, you know? Yeah. yeah, you're pretty chill with that. But even if you're playing last, you're still a double decider. So you're like, eh, you know, it's all good. Um, I did notice though with people with NI. Um, for them, their ideas are personal. So because you have NE, do you think your ideas are not personal then? You can freely, you know, talk about your ideas with people and it's, it's not personal? You know? Well, no. <laughs> Part of ideas is TI, I you know. So I don't, like, I, 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 what I found is, like, I, I don't like to argue. In fact, I hate to argue. Okay. Uh, because I find it pointless a lot of the times because I've got this masculine and I'm kind of changing the subject, but we're going to go back to that later. Uh, I've got this like masculine TI, which is immovable. So I just assume everybody else sort of has the same thing. Like I know they don't, but like, I just assume like in my head unconsciously, I think everybody's the, you know, like me as you do. So I just basically don't see the point in arguing because I've got this immovable, uh, uh, these um, unmovable personal reasons and I assume you've got your unmovable personal reasons so if we fight that then we're just not going to you know neither of neither of us is going to change our minds uh, at any point so it's useless to argue about anything okay uh, and ideas I mean the 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 any uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm very clueless about the any. I noticed it's re really weird. I do not. I just do not have much to say about any. Well, like for me personally, I think my ideas are not personal. I just like share my ideas with people, like left and right. Uh, when it comes to reasons, my my emotions are more personal than my reasons. My reasons are not personal at all. I don't really care if I tell you my reasons or not. If I tell people, I voluntarily tell to everyone uh, because I'm PE, right? So um, I thought your statement when you said that, you know, like when you said, like, you assume that, you know, your reasons and my reasons, you know, we're, we're not going to, it's like it's personal and, and, you know, you're not going to move people's reasons. Um, well, for me, it's like, I know we're different, we're different people. So I don't like to argue because I see it like as pointless. I don't, I don't feel like I can change someone. I feel like you're you, I'm me. You know, you, the way you see that you have your worldview is maybe different from my worldview, you know? And it's just a waste of time to like argue with you how I'm yeah. like, like I, I'm not gonna change your worldview essentially, you know? Like unless, unless you're really in like a bad 
emotional state, you know, then I don't think your worldview is going to change. You know, I, I think the only time people's worldview changes when they're in a very bad emotional state where their worldview gets shattered, you know, and then, then I guess you can rebuild in a sense. So I don't, I don't know what your take is on that, but uh, that's just my opinion. Like, when well, maybe it's the, it's the feminine D then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess, well, I guess we both have feminine D, right? So, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, or maybe just nobody that likes to argue. I don't know. That, that's the, you know, I mean, in terms of type, you know, maybe it's just like individual people. Well, I, I, I know there's a lot of people that loves arguing. Like ISTPs that I know like loves arguing. But I'm like, I don't want to argue. I don't want to debate. It's like, it's annoying. It's annoying to me. You know, I don't want to deal with it. Um, you have consumed sleep together. So you get like extreme introversion. Like what is, what is that like rabbit hole when you have the consumed sleep together? You know, like what, how do you experience that? Well, basically you just consume something. And then if it's good, you consume it again. And then you consume it again. And then you consume it again and then you consume it again and then you get bored of it so you find some new thing and then you repeat the pattern you just consume it until but it what about boring. the sleep though where does that sleep play in like do you process what it, you're well y- yeah you just like i you just consume it yeah and you know i i consume the same things and like i i, I would say that's sleep just just like repeating the 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 same information and you know you get something new out of it every every time like for example, with OP uh, videos, I'll just like watch them, you know, over and over again, and and do my sleep processing in that way. I mean, I'll do the sleep process sleep processing outside of the thing, but that is like a like a conscious thing I'm doing, of the of like rewatching it over and over. Because you are consume sleep, not consume play. Do you want to do anything with that information that you consume? Because people who are consume play, they no. typically consume <laughs> for the purpose of doing something with that info. So I guess no for you then, right? You said no. No, for me, it's like, it's like sort of, um, in a, it's different in a way. I, I consume something just for the sake of it. And then afterwards, I might like find a use for it. But I will never go into consume with the idea of of doing something with it later i see so when you consume there's no intention of doing anything with that information yeah because you're nf last uh, one of the core message of objective personality is growth mindset hmm. and part of growth mindset is working on that fourth function or your fourth animal so because you're nf last what is your opinion on being growth mindset and working on your demon to be a better human being, you know, a more upgraded version of yourself, you know, like Marcel 2.0 or something. Well, when, if you play last, you realize very quickly that you will not get through life without dying off. If you don't adjust uh, yourself to, to, you know, to existence basically so you so you're kind of forced into that growth mindset because like like for, like the thing about uh like people who are asleep last like you're asleep last right yeah yeah like like you will like life is going to like be welcoming for you basically i don't know if that's true particularly for you but like the pattern is that life is going to like be basically for you but then you you're gonna you know burn yourself out afterwards and then you realize i've been doing this shit all wrong whereas whereas with playlists it's we we know <laughs> we're doing this shit all wrong from the beginning because everybody lets us know and then we just have to adjust because it's you know the the first years of life are the hardest basically all right so my last question for you, we'll wrap up the interview pretty soon. Um, do you have any questions for me about other functions that you don't have like FI or T, you know, or like different animal order? Because I'm your opposite. I'm a play, bra- play blast crackhead, right? So yeah. yeah. So do you have any questions about animal order or different functions? Well, I, I don't know. We have... 
I, I never quite under, understood and never quite will understand the difference between FI and TI because you'll get in, in classes, you get all these like different people who like I would I would swear they're TI and they're giving all the reasons and everything, but they turn out FI or or the opposite of that, you know. Not not very much the opposite, but like I've 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 seen a lot of FI people who gave gave up a very TI vibe to me. You know? But it's it's hard to tell those two. Yeah, I, I mean I think when people with FI, they like to pinpoint the exact emotion they're experiencing. They don't like to just say, oh, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm tired, you know, I'm angry, you know. Like, they don't want to just go with, like, the first three layers of emotion. They want to go deep to the very core of the emotion, you know. So maybe, like, um, for example, I went to see a counselor, and I told her that my whole life, the three emotions that I have struggled with the most, number one is sadness which came directly from my dad. Number two is anger, which came from my mom. And number three is loneliness. And then I told the counselor that loneliness is the emotion I've kind of resolved as I grew older, but anger and sadness was an area that I was still working on. And then the counselor took a picture of an iceberg and said to me, anger is a surface layer emotion. So below the anger iceberg, there is tons of other emotion that is really the cause of anger so can you point to which one of these underneath the iceberg is the trigger for that anger and i said it's this one right here disrespected and then you know and she said okay now you know uh, then you have to think of a way how can you feel less disrespected by other people so for me it's for me, I was like, okay, I, number one, I have to set boundaries because I'm sleep last. I'm not setting boundaries with the tribe. You know, sleep and play are the opposite, right? Plays with the tribe, sleeps with their self. So I'm like, okay, I need to set boundaries, you know? Uh, number two, because I'm sleep last, I am SF last and I am disrespecting SF. So I get disrespected by the tribe because I'm disrespecting SF. So in that case, I need to use my, I need to use SF. I need to, you know, because mine's asleep, right? So it's more like internal. So I have to like, you know, I have to dress nicer, I have to get like, go to the gym, get really fit, you know, it's like a lot of surface level, you could say shallow um, things that I need to work on in order to, uh, to get disrespected less by the tribe because, I, because I'm disrespecting this one aspect, I'm getting disrespected back. So if I respect the SF, then I'm gonna get respected. If I set boundaries, then I'm not gonna feel disrespected, you know? So that's kind of like how FI works. I don't know if that's clear, but that's uh. I mean, I get it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, that that seems re <laughs> that seems reasonable <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but I don't have TI. I don't have the like, deep logic. Like, I don't even like to figure things out. Like, you know, by myself. I don't like to figure things out. You, you know, it's like I don't even like that. That's the funny. Th I don't even like TI. You know, you don't have to like your saviors. It's just like an addiction. Like I just get really stupid about the TI sometimes. <laughs> I think the, I think the NE is the worst addiction there is because you're just gathering nonstop and you can't help yourself, you know. Well, and NE is pretty easy for me because it's you know it's it's just single activated. Like I've got like the the most watered down NE out of any EPs, basically. The most watered down any your any's yeah but you're still any first and it's double it's also masculine so and you have double masculine consume so you're gonna be the most addicted to consume than everyone because it's double masculine oh but it's not double activated you know it doesn't have to be it's double masculine though it's like you know it's it's so intense you know I guess, yeah. Well, it's not, not very good at parties. They're masculine consume. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be good at parties, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm good at parties. I don't know if I'm peacocking here, but uh, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty good at parties, yeah. Yeah, alcohol, you know, you're, you're just all feminine. I'm just all feminine <laughs> with yeah. alcohol. Yeah. So, Marcel, my last question for you is, do you have any advice to play last people? How can they work on improving their play last? Playlist people in general? Yeah. It's hard to say. 
that seems to be your biggest problem is play. Like even during the school interview I'm having with you, it's quite like, you know, taking turns talking. It's not like a back and forth, you know. Mm. Right. Well, this is this is more about ideas. Well about play. As like the, 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 the shittiest advice would be to just do it. But then again, does that really work? I'm still figuring out play. How how to do it? Let's let's think. I think a good a good thing to like figure out play is find something that is in your box, and you can have uh, but you can achieve the infinite play with, and then try to emulate what how you're uh, managing that situation in situations that are difficult for you. You know, it's like learning through like experience. But it's like in a controlled environment. Gotcha. All right, Marcel, thanks for doing this interview, man. So, peace out, dude. Bye.